In the previous video, we started with the idea that the file had been uploaded to SharePoint and now we wanted to work with it within Office. Well, what about the other way? What if I have a file that I've just built on my C drive or just in Office and I want to save it to SharePoint? You don't actually have to save the file, go to SharePoint, drag it or upload it in if you don't want to. You can simply save to SharePoint in the first place. So first of all, a couple things have to be set. You need to be logged in to your version of Office. If you're not logged in and you don't have Office 13, 16, or 0365, or 19, forgot about that one. Um, if you don't have one of those versions, then you're not going to be able to do this. Uh, 10 does have some capabilities, but it do, you don't log in. And the newer versions from 13 on, you always log in. That creates the connection to things like SharePoint and all that. So that's what we have there. Now, in the File tab, when you come down to Save or Save As, on the left side, you would likely see things uh, like your SharePoint sites or your OneDrive. So if you've logged in, you can see in Aromar, I have this ability to save it to, to these sites, you know, to a SharePoint site, or I could save it to my OneDrive. If you don't see this, as you go down here where it says add a place, you can add in a SharePoint site. So if I click Office 365 SharePoint, it's going to ask me to log in. And then it's going to find me you know, a location and put that in there. Now it already had, so it wasn't going to necessarily do it there. But here, if I click Sites, I can then go and find the site I want. So I'm looking for frequent or maybe sites that I'm following. And I could select any one from here. Once I'm in that site, I would then be able to select a library. And once I've selected that library, I could put it in a folder or come down and put it in. Now, just making sure it doesn't, one hasn't already been uploaded with that name in it. That's fine. I come over here and they've hidden the save button in the newest version of Office. They put it kind of over here. Sometimes it's at the bottom. And I go ahead and click save. If I needed to do more options, I could as well. But if I click save, the file will be uploaded to SharePoint at the same time it's been saved. So it's uh, putting it all together and all that stuff. Now, this file cannot be saved because it's missing certain properties. So you can see it's not going to let me do it until I fill in that metadata. So it gave me, it's like, hey, you tried, but now you got to fill in the metadata, which is kind of a nice thing that it's doing. And now that I've done it, I would be able to save it back up to my site right there. If I save it to that site again with the metadata filled in. And now we're going to have all the properties in there. So if there's required metadata, there could be a bit of a wrinkle here with getting those properties filled in. But usually within one, uh, one instance of saying, hey, 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 not so fast, and you fix it, then you'll be good to go. So if you get the issue about metadata, change the metadata, try it again. But you can save your files directly up to SharePoint without needing to go through the browser in any way.